Death is always with us, isn't it? The grinning skull in the cornflakes. Oh, you had a good innings. Who? English Stan. Bugger English Stan. It's me that I'm talking about. He's gone, isn't he? I'm still alive. Death still has some relevance to me. Oh, well, if you will go in a place like the Boar's Head, Gwyn. How was I to know I was going to get involved in a petty dispute with a psychopath like Richard Stuckley, man? Well, you should have known. You go into a place like the Boar's Head, you must expect to have your life threatened. Especially if you tip someone's pint, isn't it? It was an accident! Accident, be buggered! Don't weep on a him, man! Do you know what, Moira? I can't find English Stan's teeth anywhere. What do you want English Stan's teeth for, Dad? Well, to put on his shrine, isn't it? Oh, you don't want his teeth, love. You've already got his slippers. Have I? <laughs> oh, aye. Oh, it's great, man. Aye. You done him proud, Dad? Aye. Sit by there, then I'll make you a sandwich, is it? Batty Burke sandwich, is it? If you like. Not many at the funeral, were there? Well, let's face it, there was no one at the funeral, was there? Except for us and the vicar. And English Stan. Oh, well, aye, English Stan was there, of course. Uh, he was the star, wasn't he? It's one moment of glory. Well, we'll have to start looking for another lodger on Monday. Strike while the iron's hot before Stan rots. <laughs> Look, Dad. Me and Gwyn have been talking. We're not having another lodger. Not having another lodger? We don't need a lodger, man, Dad. I mean, Gwyn earns good money, the house is paid for, you got your pension. Aye, but it's company for me, man. And what if Stan comes back? He's dead, man. Well, aye, that's what I mean. I mean, where would we get another lodger from, anyway? Well, we had Stan, didn't we? Well, aye, only because lodging with us was preferable to sleeping under the bridge in a plastic bag. And that was a marginal decision. <laughs> he was unstable, man, Dad. Aye, but I liked him, though. He had warm feet. Ah, well, they won't be warm now. He was no help around the house. I had to lift up his feet myself to hoover under him. Like a doorstop he was. Cobra toes, 24 hours a day. It amazes me he found the get-up and go to hang himself. <laughs> but I'll miss him, though. I'll miss the sound of him sobbing in the nights. It was so comforting. <laughs> Look, I'm an old man. And old men need company. Well, you'll have to learn to keep yourself company. You can't keep yourself company, man. It don't make sense. <laughs> Look, we are not having another lodger. Full stop, end of story. Capiche? If we can't have another lodger, I'll... 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 What? What'll you do? Huh? I'll sleep in a shed. <laughs> Fred, sleep in the shed. No, Dad. Please do not the shed. I will. You can sleep. Up the chimney, as far as I'm concerned. You can lay under the carpet like under felt. Artless, you are. Oh. Artless bully. Like that Hitler. Hitler oh. Aye, well, yeah, I got enough to worry about without concerning myself with your bloody deranged desires. Look. It's the door. <laughs> hey, Moira, it's the door, man. He's saying that Stuckley has learned to read. He's found the street. My God, oh, hell, it was an accident, man. Accident, be buggered. You can't go around tipping blokes' pints, man. It's only natural they want to come and get you, innit? <laughs> oh, I'm glad I'm not in your shoes. Don't worry now, Gwen. He never leaves a boar's head. Well, not normally. You don't know. He's too bloody drunk normally, but you never know. that They may have changed his medication or something. <laughs> it might be a new lodger. What, a psychic, is it? No, man. I've seen the sign. What sign? Sign? <laughs> you conniving, sneaky, two-faced old sod. Oh, it took me ages to write that, man. Hey, maybe Richard Stuckley wants to be our lodger. I'm only saying, only thinking I am. For God's sake, shut up! Like Punch and bloody Julie you are, I. <laughs> you have a word and it'll be carnage. But I'll see you with this. You two, you stay here. We were cricket bad, Dad. I don't know. Oh, hell! I'll have to defend myself with a china bloody elephant. <laughs> you can dig his eyes out, man, with his trunk. Gouge him out of his sockets. Oh, hell, he's forcing what? his way in. Oh, God, how, 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 how's that prayer go, Dad? What prayer? Uh, the one they make you say in school, man, the big one, the one everyone knows. Well, I don't know it, Of one. course you know it, man. Everyone knows it. You don't know it. Oh. You just said everyone knows it, but you don't how know far, it. How far, <laughs> how far? Our father, he's in somewhere, man. He's... <laughs> You will never guess who's at the door. 
Stan's rotted corpse come back. No. Jeremy Beagle. No. Harry Seacombe. No. Harry Seacombe's rotted corpse come back. No. <laughs> it's an American. An American? Uh, 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 come in, love. Hi, I'm Randy. <laughs> Thank God for that. This is my father-in-law, Idris. Pleased to meet you, sir. Randolph Lincoln III. And my husband, Gwyn. Hiya. <laughs> All right. Well, come in, come in. Uh, put your things down by here in the kitchen. Have a cup of tea, is it? Great. If he's a real American, yes. where's his camera? <laughs> he don't look like an American dad. He, he's not tall enough. <laughs> hey, are you a real American? Yes, sir, from Connecticut. Parachuted in, didn't you? Oh, no, I, I came by bus. From America? No, sir, from Cardiff. Dad! Hey, I never met a real American. Have you met any Welsh people before? Oh, yeah, I had a Welsh teacher back in the States. You didn't? Yeah. What was his name? Uh, Professor Morgan. No, I can't place him. <laughs> well, what are you doing here, then? Well, I've come about the lodgings. What? And you just let him in, just like that? Well, I... He might be insane, innit? He might be Madeline Stuckley. He might be an escaped serial killer stalking wheels for fresh victims. <laughs> Just a regular guy. Aye, well, this is Wales, but we're a desolate and suspicious community. We don't say, have a nice day. We say, who are you looking at? <laughs> we see the world through welder's goggles, not rose-tinted bloody specks. Essential life outlook variants you're talking about there, Gwen. That is cool. That's my field of study. Field of study? Yeah, I'm here studying for my doctorate. Celtic mysticism in Welsh culture. Well, I did my master's thesis on the Hopi Indians, and I lived in the Nevada desert. I intend to stay for about a year. Oh, I've even started to learn the language. I'm... Cathod Preno Donidor? I said he was nuts. What did he say, Moira? Well, I don't know. It's Welsh, though, isn't it? Like on telly, is it? Ah. Well, it means, how are you today? Haven't I got the pronunciation right? Well, so it's me, but... Well, don't you guys speak Welsh? No. no. They used to tie you up in a knot if you spoke Welsh, didn't it? Who did? Oh, I don't know. Uh, doctors. Aye. Aye, doctors. English doctors. English doctors? Why? Oh, I don't know. Stop you speaking it, I think. He's talking about the Welsh knotman, Randy. It was a piece of wood, it was. It was hung around a child's neck at yes. school if it spoke Welsh. And if another child spoke Welsh, it was passed on. And whichever child added at the end of the day... Had his teeth kicked in. <laughs> <laughs> a simple but effective method, jumped up in English. That's barbaric. The forced suspension of a culture like that. Aye, aye, enough, aye but uh, at least fair play. Now, at least it means we don't have to speak bloody Welsh now, doesn't it? <laughs> hey, Moira, mm. fancy an American wanting to be our lodger? He'd be an American lodger then, see? <laughs> oh, there's no such thing, man. Is there? <laughs> You'll have to excuse my father-in-law. He's um, eccentric. He's very... Ex he's insane, look at... Look, look, another thing now. We do not want a... It's post-apocalyptic out there on a Friday night, Gwen. Well, it's real kind of you. You're real nice people, Moira. Idris. Gwen. <laughs> nice, be buggered. Aye, right, right. One night, right? Great! I'll show you the room. Great! Come in, Randy. Shut the door. Well, how do you like it? Well, it's quaint. Oh, aye. All this furniture was new when I bought it, see? Oh, that's good. <laughs> right, we'll start here. This is a wardrobe. OK. The pose under the bed. Mine it is, but you can use it. The Poe. For peeing in mine. But only for peeing in mine. That's good. <laughs> This is what we call a table lamp. Right. <laughs> now then, it's quiet enough, except at night when it's dark. What happens at night? Oh, boys passing and that, singing and screaming and things. Why do they sing and scream? Drunk, see? What, every night? Well, most nights. Except when they're away on a rugby trip. <laughs> they still drunk then, mind, but they drunk somewhere else. <laughs> so, why do they drink so much? Well, to get drunk, man. Why do they want to get drunk? Well, fun, in it. Oh. Well, don't you drink that? Well, occasionally, for ceremonial purposes, but, well, otherwise it seems like kind of a waste of time. Well, what else would you do with time? 
Read, make my notes, go to art exhibitions. Art I... exhibitions? Oh, yeah, I really love abstract art. Abstract painting? That's rubbish, that is, man. <laughs> All squiggles and daft faces and things. <laughs> oh, it's proper painting you want, man. Like this on the wall by your luck. Do you like it? Well, it's unusual. No, it's not. It's a black woman, man. <laughs> That's what he wanted in paint, isn't it? And horses and fields and Jesus and things. Well, yeah, I see your point, but abstract art is what you feel. It's, well, it's the illustration of instinct. Oh, bugger instinct. <laughs> Listen, Randy, it's different over here, man. We like different things, see? We don't go to art galleries and that. We we drink and laugh and fight. Well, I'm a pacifist. I hate physical violence. I, I think we should all live together in love and peace and harmony. You're a funny bugger, you are I? <laughs> I guess I am. Ow! What's that? Oh. Oh, there they are. These were Stan's men. Stan? Ah, English Stan, our old lodger. Oh. He was a lovely bloke, I. But nobody liked him. Well, gee, that's a shame. Where is he now? Oh, he died. Ah, he hung himself in a fit of black depression, he did. Wait, when was that? Last Tuesday. Last Tuesday? Aye, we only buried him this morning. <laughs> that explains the costumes. Costumes? Well, the, the black suits. I thought they were traditional Welsh costumes. Oh, I don't know nothing about that. We are going to his wake, we are. <laughs> the, to think that he used to sleep in this room. In this bed, you mean? Hi, on that side. Hey, Idris, I hope you don't mind my asking, but in which room do you sleep? In this room. Sometimes. Sometimes? Well, all the time, really. <laughs> but only in the night's mine. <laughs> it's my room, see? So where do I sleep? Well, in this room, too. In this bed, you mean? Ah. With you? Ah. The two of us? Ah. <laughs> Listen, Randy, you can be the son I always wanted. I mean, what about Gwen? Oh, I never wanted him, man. Oh, hey, look, it was, it'll be all right. We can, we can keep each other warm. It'll be uh, nice. So we'll wear pajamas. <laughs> Listen now, Randy, man. It's a tradition in Wales. The lodger sleeps with the eldest son. Well, shouldn't English Stan have slept with Gwen then? I well, Moira wouldn't have it, see? So we compromised. <laughs> okay. Okay, what? Okay, it's not a problem. So you don't mind, you say? No, I, when I lived with the Hopi, I had to sleep in the hollowed out carcass of a buffalo. Dead buffalo, was it, sir? Well, yeah. Ah, good. Because if it was alive, you wouldn't get much sleep, would you? You know, not with it running about and all that. Come in. It's time for the work, Dad. I got the sandwiches and that. Randy's coming. Well, yeah, OK. Well, that's nice. Aye, Gwen coming. You've debated the pros and cons, the possibility of being butchered by Stuckley against the certainty of some free beer, and the beer of one out. But he's taking precautions. <laughs> Here's a poem what I wrote for English Stan to celebrate his passion. Like. English Stan. English Stan. <laughs> Uh, you, you must remember, I'm not a professional, then. Uh, with it, man, die. Aye, all right. <clears throat> Stan, Stan, he's a dead man. <laughs> now, and he's been planted. He didn't have much of a life. He was always took for granted. But now he's gone and no one knows if he was worth a fig. He didn't talk to anyone and he frightened those he did talk to. <laughs> Well, there it is, and it rhymes. <laughs> very good, Di, excellent. It's very moving, Di. I'm sure parody is a neglected art form. <laughs> All right, well, let's get stuck into the old bouquet then, is it? So, uh, you're a yank then, are you? Yes, sir, from Connecticut. Uh, got a horse, have you? No. Guy did it. No. Rustled. No, I have never had a horse. How'd you get about then? Oh, uh... <laughs> you were well spoke in America. Hi, what was his name? Professor Morgan. No, no, I can't place him. I need to speak Welsh a, a, bit. a bit. Well, Snowbugger speaks Welsh, man. Hang on, Reese speaks it. Really? Hi, Reese. Reese. 
So I hope you're well, Sam, but Reese is listening. How can you tell, guys? Well, well his eyes are open, aren't they? <laughs> Meyer Duran, <laughs> these, hey, sir? Hey, huh? Act ruin time low the stumog. <laughs> well, you didn't seem to want to talk. Well, you haven't spoken twenty years, see? Stroke. Oh, I see. Stuckley won't recognize you, is he? If he sees you like. Yes, I am in disguise. Who are you? Well, I'm Gwyn Price, aren't I? Aye, aye, but who are you pretending to be? Anyone who's not Gwyn Price. No, no, well, it, it serves you right going in the boar's head. This is your Pablo Cosmo, in it? Yes, yes, a thousand times yes. I admit it, I confess. I don't know what came over me, man. I was crazed, possessed. I had this insane desire to mingle with other human beings. <laughs> it was a mistake, a terrible mistake. Do you eat sandwiches, Randy? Well, I'm sure I do, Idris, so long as I know what's in them. I mean, I don't eat meat. Oh. Black dog it is. Dog? You people eat dog? <laughs> no, black pudding it is, man. It's not real dog. God, you had me worried there for a minute, man. I find the practice of eating the decayed flesh of our fellow living creatures abhorrent. Ah, well, black dog's not meat. No. I guess I'll try it, then. It's dried pig's blood, it is. <laughs> Grand you love? Fine. <laughs> There's not, not many people here tonight, are there? Oh, it's full, man. Everybody's here, all the regulars. Really? Well, I mean, it's just us. But we are the regulars, Randy Love. Well, and San Reese, of course. The Cosmo Club is the least frequented drinking establishment in the all of Satellite City. Satellite City? No, I, it's uh, what they call this place, see? Well, why's that? Well, when they first brought out satellite dishes, they put them on all the houses for a sort of trial period. Mm. And if you wanted to keep them, you had to pay. But nobody wanted to give them back, so now everybody's got one and nobody paid. <laughs> Like fungal growths, they are, sprouting out of the concrete. That is such a cool story. Hey, would you mind if I wrote that down? Well, well I'll be right back. Writing that down. Cool, he said. <laughs> well, I reckon it's fate, the way he just showed up knocking on the door like that. I think you're confusing real life with Greek tragedy. Uh, Dad, you seem to think there's some sort of celestial conveyor belt of lodgers. No? The lodger from heaven. <laughs> Silhouette companies first came to the valleys in the early part of the 1980s. All right. Oh. Excuse me, ma'am. I thought this was the men's room. Huh? Oh, hello. How you doing? You're an American. Yes, ma'am. He's an American bridge. I've never seen an American before. Have I played you? No. Except in films. <laughs> um. Hi, I'm Randy. Randolph Lincoln III. <laughs> Were you looking at him like that for, man? I'm Mandy. <laughs> I wanted to be a cheerleader in school, but they made me a milk monitor instead. Huh? There's none to cheer, anyhow. Uh, uh, very nice to meet you. You got a girlfriend? Well, no. Do you want to go out with me? Well. Uh... Oh, I'm an infomaniac, innit, Bridge? Oh, yeah. Don't you fancy me? It's not that. I've got a great body. Oh. Well, do I... you want to go out with her? Well, uh... She'll go out with you, but you'll have to fight her boyfriend. Oh. Her boyfriend's in jail. Really? Oh, you'll have to fight him when he gets out. Oh. You're not afraid, are you? Uh... Do you want this boss? No! <laughs> I think he's queer, man. <laughs> Not, though I don't mean in any way to condemn other people's sexuality. It's it's just that I think relationships are important. They're delicate. They have to be nurtured and treated with respect. They they shouldn't be rushed into. He is queer, man. <laughs> not. Do you like Al Pacino? Yeah, sure. He's cool. I think he's gorgeous. You look a bit like him. Nobody's ever said that to me before. Hey, hey can I get you guys a drink? Yeah. Oh, I... <laughs> Great. What are you guys drinking? Drambuie and pineapple. Twice. <laughs> aye, aye. Look at this. The mystical allure of the new world over our impressionable young Welsh lasses. <laughs> Oh, I strange imbalanced silence, is it? Made a full pile of myself, have I? Put my foot in it. Funny for me, too. Be about. Whoa. 
Well, well. And Eldritch. It isn't Damien Bastard Hill. <laughs> I'm going to smash your face into, like, a, a jelly. A red jelly. Uh, that's very um, po poetic, Richard. You leave him alone, Richard Stuckley. He's not well, and I'm not well. None of our family is well. The entire country is not well. No one spills my pint. No one. He shouldn't have done it, should he, Richard? What? No. He always was an awkward bugger, even as a boy. Shut up, man, Dad. <laughs> Inadvertent it was, man, Richard. In what? Uh, a mistake, man, an accident. <laughs> Leave her there, no, boys. It's not worth it. What? Nothing, Richard, nothing at all. I mean, all barmen say that, did it? Is it just what they say, man? I mean, just, just mopping the table, I was. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean it, Richard. It was a mistake. It was a, it was a twitch in my arm. Spasm! A spasm. You can't help a twitch in your arm, man. Can you? Can't we let bygones be bygones? Man? Hernia! I got a high here, this hernia and all. It's too late, but. It's too bastard late. <laughs> Excuse me? Hey, uh, um, look, there's obviously been a misunderstanding between you two guys. I'd like to help you sort it out if you'd let me. Who the hell is he? He's an American, Richard. What? An American. I heard you. A yank, is he? Yeah, from Connecticut. I've never smashed a yank's face in before. <laughs> hey, let's be reasonable about this. <laughs> Oh, this is obviously a misunderstanding, buddy. Is that right? Sure. Aye. Well, so is this. Hey, hey, let me go. Let me go. You promised to discuss this rationally. Aye, aye. Oh, let me go, man, please. Okay. Okay, now, now, Gwyn, Richard, as I see... <laughs> Man, I wasn't ready. Oh. Randy, love, well done. Hey, you karate him, son. Hey, when he karate him, karate him. Oh, he's the one, Bridge. Oh, the one from my dreams. Let's go, is it, man? <laughs> well, well, I do, do. I, I mean, I would have intervened, of course, but uh... he said it was freaky, Gwen. Hi, uh, thanks, bud. Well, that's all right, Gwen. I mean, I don't condone physical violence as a rule, but, well, in certain circumstances, uh, the use of a controlled amount of judicious force can be acceptable. You karate demon! Well, actually, it was she low. It's a defensive technique based on the enigmatic dance of the scorpion as it hypnotizes, then devours its prey. The scorpion demon! I learned it by correspondence course. Richard Stuckley felt by correspondence course. I never believed it. Well, there you go, then, Gwen. Now, if Randy hadn't turned up, you'd be waking up in the neurological unit by now with people squabbling over your vital organs. I shredded wheat, you'd be. And tomorrow morning, you're going to throw him out in the street. It's not fair, man. I will. Life isn't fair, is it? Oh, Mr. Price, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. He saved you like Superman, and you don't care. <laughs> Aye, and maybe when he's gone, Stuckley will get you and unleash his terrible revenge, paralyze you or something. Yes, and then you'll have to wear that helmet for the rest of your life. People will think you ride a bloody moped. <laughs> I want him to stay. And I do. Yeah, yes, yes. Oh, all, right, all, right, all, right, all right, all right, all right. I, I know what I'm beat. Welcome to Satellite City, but. And may God preserve your sanity. Thank you, Gwen. That's very kind of you. Yeah! You were looking at me, I knew. No, I'm not. Yes, you are, man. You were shy, I knew. I'm not. Sharing a bed with you is cool, Idris. Cool. Oh, great, man. In you get set. All right. Oh, it's great having you here, I. An American. <sighs> it's like having a spaceman about, see? Well, a stranger in a strange land. Wales is not a strange land, man. Well, no, foreign, I mean. No, it's not. I guess it's not. I guess it's me who's the foreigner here. Aye, Wales is a great place, man. <laughs> South Wales, anyhow. <laughs> hey, Randy. Is it true they do freeze blokes' heads in America after they're dead, like? Oh, cryogenics. You what? 
Cryogenics, that's what it's called. Sometimes just the head and sometimes the whole body. What for does he do that then? Well, in the hopes that medical science will advance to the point where they can unfreeze them and bring them back to life. Good God. <laughs> hey, but listen now. What if he was in heaven? You'd be in heaven without an end. You'd be an headless angel. <laughs> and your head would be in a fridge somewhere in America. I never thought about it like that. I mean, what the hell's the point of being alive if it was just a bloody head? <laughs> I mean, you couldn't go to the pub. You couldn't do bugger all if it was just an head. Well, except watch television, of course. <laughs> and then you'd... Hey, that's a point. I see it now. It's not a bad idea, man. Hey, I think I'll have my head froze. I'll stick it in the fridge tomorrow for a quarter of an hour just to see what it's like. You're kidding, right? Aye. Uh, ten minutes, then. <laughs> right, dump the lights on. OK. It's been a tiring day. Aye. You must be buggered, man. Idris, I notice the word bugger is widely used in Wales. Oh, aye. Don't you say bugger in America, then? Well, no. I mean, in America, it, it's not regarded as an acceptable word. Not acceptable? No. Well, I'd be buggered. Well, it's another <laughs> word for sodomy. Sodomy? Sodomy, you say? Well, yeah. Oh, sodomy. Well, I'll be sodomied. Oh, it's not as good as buggered. <laughs> oh, I tend to agree with you on that one. It's not. Good night, Idris. Good night, son. Oh, the stars look beautiful tonight. What stars? In the sky, is it? Yeah, like, like little tiny diamonds just hanging there. Uh, little other worlds, Gwen says they are, see? I'm sure he's right. Different worlds, mate. Mm -hmm. Hey, Randy, you're a man of the world, aren't you? Yeah, I guess I am. What exactly is scampy, bud? <laughs> <laughs> Good night, Andrews. <laughs>